my code is not working and I really need some help. Let's take a look at how we can use Code With Me to get help from a friend or colleague, even if they don't have the IDE installed. So here's my code. What I want to do is capture a string and then print it out in reverse. But look what happens when I run it. Let's run it from a gutter icon. Enter a string to reverse. I will enter my name. Well, that's, that's not Helen in reverse, that's New Helen. That's not what we want at all. So let me go ahead and get some help. To do that, I'm going to use code with me. So I am going to go up here, click on this icon. Now you do need your navigation bar open. This is what I've got along the top here to use code with me. So you click that icon and I want to start a session because I want somebody else, a colleague, to join this session and help me figure out why my code is not working. I will click start session. Uh, read only, I, I want my colleague to be able to edit my files because I think that she's going to need to, to help me fix my bug. I'll change that to edit files. Yes, that's okay. If you do want to change your permissions further, you can come into here and tweak them. I don't in this instance, that's okay. Let's click start session. Now IntelliJ IDEA is gonna create the link. It's copied it to my clipboard and we can see we've got some new icons up here. So I'm currently muted, but my microphone is enabled. My camera, but again, it's switched off at the moment and screen shares available if I want to do that. Now, of course, no one has joined yet because I haven't sent the link to anyone. So I'm going to send the link over to my colleague Marit now and let's see what she does with it. Oh, hey, Helen is asking for my help. She sent me a link to code with me. Let me click that. Okay, I need to copy this code to the terminal and wait for Helen to give me approval with the security code 2730. Brilliant. So Marit wants to join, security code 2730. That's the same security code that she sent me. Uh, let me click accept. Now Marit is joining the session. When somebody joins your Code With Me session, you will start off with your microphone muted. So I can unmute my microphone and also your camera will be off. I'm going to enable my camera. Hello Marit. Hey Helen, how can I help? Morning. Uh, thank you firstly for jumping on this call. Uh, I've written I've written some code and I just want to reverse a string. Uh, but let me show you what happens when I run it because it's a bit weird. Let me run it with the gutter icon and if I enter a string to reverse, so such as my name, can you see what it's doing? It's not working. It's not working at all. Um, help. <laughs> ah, okay. So let's have a look. I see you're using a for loop to reverse the string. Yeah, it's not great, I know. Yeah, um, I'm sure we can figure out what's wrong with the for loop, but have you considered using standard Java functionality like String Builder? Oh, I knew there was an easier way. <laughs> I knew there was an easier way. Hang on, let me let me follow you just so that I can make sure. Right, I'm going to follow you so I can see, see what, what you're I'm going doing. to do. Yes. All right. So oh, instead of using string, let's use string builder. Oh, cool. I have code completion on this uh, thin client. Just like I would on a regular version. Nice. Okay, so we, oh, I can't type, of course, when people are watching. Obviously, it's always the way. <laughs> As you do. So then we can remove the for loop. Whoa. And instead of printing your new string, we use string builder reverse. Oh, God, built in method. Right. Genius. So let's see if I can run that. I don't think you'll be able to, because I don't think I gave you permissions to run. No, it says you're not permitted to <laughs> execute action, run context configuration. So can you run I it? will run it for us. Let me run it. Uh, so control and R or shift and F10. Let's take a look. I'm going to use your name. Yes! It works! Thank you. Oh, I knew there was an easy way. Thank you. You're very welcome. That's how I used to write my name when I was little anyway. So. <laughs> it's very cute. <laughs> right. um, Marit, thank you so much. I'll let you go. You're welcome. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.
Okay, so Malik has jumped on the call. She has fixed my code, but the code with me session is still running. So let's terminate that. Go up here, end session. And that's it. That's how you can use code with me. It's great for mentoring others, pair programming, swarm programming, or just getting some help when you can't figure something out. You don't need the full client installed. When Marit clicked that link, it just downloaded a thin client to her machine. And then as you saw, she had the rich features of the editor, such as code completion. It's a very powerful and secure way to invite your friends and your colleagues to join you, learn from, and create great things. Thanks for watching.